All right, David Harry here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a RAID 0 striped set in software under Mac OS on Apple Silicon. So what I'm going to be using here is my M4 Max MacBook Pro, and I will be using two Thunderbolt 5 SSDs to create the RAID 0 striped set with. Now, the first one is going to be the Acasus TB 501, which has got a Western Digital SN850X 4 terabyte SSD with inside of it. And then the second one is going to be the Acasus TB501 Pro, which has also got a Western Digital SN850X inside of it. Okay, so I'm just onto my MacBook now, and as we can see here, there are the two external Thunderbolt 5 SSDs. Now, the first thing that I will do here is to run a Blackmagic disk speed test on one of these SSDs, just so we've got a bit of a baseline as far as speeds are concerned before I combine the two of them together into RAID 0 or a striped set. So as you can see there, what's this saying? 5,975 for the right, and the read is saying 5,000. 881 now these will fluctuate by tens of megabytes here and there but just to be conservative and to give myself a bit of a number here i'm going to say that the write speed is 5950 which it was just then and i'm going to say that the read is well i'm going to say 5850 can't go wrong with those numbers okay so what we need to do now is to go into the disk utility now if you know where that is go ahead and launch it however if you don't know where it is then just come up here to this magnifying glass icon up here tap on there and then that's going to open up spotlight search so just start typing in disk utility and as we will see here it's going to prompt us and give us the shortcut for disk utility so let's just launch that now once in disk utility what we need to do is just to come up to the top up here tap on file and then scroll down to the bottom to where it says raid assistant so we'll just tap onto there now we've got three options here raid zero raid one or jbod now for the purposes of this video i'm just going to concentrate on raid zero however if anybody's got an interest in you know how to prepare and what raid one is and jbod just let me know in the comment section and i will do a couple of videos about these in the future however for this video it's going to be raid zero now just before i go any further RAID is an acronym of Redundant Array of Independent Disks. Now, the thing here is that, technically speaking, RAID 0 isn't really a RAID system. And the reason why is because there is absolutely no redundancy whatsoever. So what it says striped, this really is a striped set. However, it gets included under the RAID standards as zero. Now, what happens here is when you combine multiple disks, disks together as a striped set when the incoming data comes in and gets written to those disks the data gets split equally across all the disks in the actual striped set so therefore increasing the write speed and then conversely when it comes to reading the data it is also reading the data across multiple drives so once again it will increase the read speed however if you have a corruption with any one disk within your striped set or one of them just gets damaged or anything like that you will lose all of your data because once again there is no redundancy or parity data within raid zero or a striped set however this is the way to get multiple drives to combine to get a much faster speed than any single drive okay so what i'm going to do here is to tap on next now what i'm going to do is to tap on these two here which are the two drives that i'm going to combine together for the striped set or the raid zero now at this point it is also worth mentioning i would strongly recommend that you do not have any other drives attached to your system so that you cannot accidentally include the wrong drives into your raid zero striped set because obviously it is going to wipe out all of the data on all of the drives that you choose here 
Now I'm going to click on next. Now at this point, what I'm going to do here is to select APFS for the format. And then as far as chunk size is concerned, I'm going to select 256K. Now basically what happens here is the bigger the chunk size is, the faster that the RAID is going to be. Now in this instance, because I'm basically more concerned about large amounts of data, such as video files and such, it's actually more beneficial to have the RAID become faster. You can use lower chunk sizes and you know they may be a bit more beneficial for doing things like lots of tiny data and stuff like that however at this point don't get confused between sector sizes and chunk sizes they are actually two different things anyway so like i said i'm going to select 256 now i'm just going to give it a name now although i've already said technically there is no raid here because there's no redundancy i'm still going to call it raid zero just so i've got something on the desktop with the right name on so I'm going to click on next here and then click create now mine is going to probably do this quite quickly because both of those drives that I used there had very little data on them however if you start like using drives that have already got lots of data on the creation of the RAID set will actually take longer but as we could see there that was actually quite quick okay so I'm going to tap on done there and then let me just exit disk utility and as we can see there's our raid now now if i just go and have a quick look at the information for this raid as we can see here i have got eight terabytes so this has basically combined the two four terabytes to create one eight terabytes which is going to be faster than either of the two four terabytes so let me just come back here to the disk utility tap on here let me go down and select RAID 0. Let me open that. In fact, let me just make sure I'm on 5 gigabytes as well for the test size. So let me just start this. And as we're going to see here, we're going to get some pretty phenomenal speeds. So on the right there, we're about 11 gigabytes per second, which is absolutely tremendous. And on the read, we're not quite hitting 10 gigabytes, but nonetheless, we're just under it by like a, you know, a couple of hundred megabytes. So the read there is 9,877 megabytes. So we're getting a pretty consistent 11 gigabytes per second there give or take you know the odd tens of megabytes you know for the for the write and then for the read we're just slightly under 10 gigabytes now by comparison just one of the ssds on its own was only doing a write speed of 5950 and a read speed of 5850 now when i say only those speeds were already really fast but as you can see here nowhere near as fast as the combined two drives in a raid zero striped Set. Okay, so there we have it then, how to create a RAID 0 striped set in software under Mac OS on an Apple Silicon computer. And of course, I've used two very fast Thunderbolt 5 SSDs, which once combined together is probably one of the fastest speed tests I've ever seen on YouTube so far for external media. Anyway, there's going to be links and whatnot in the video description below for these Acasis enclosures and the SSDs used. And what I'm going to do very shortly is a build video for the TB501 Pro with some extensive speed testing as well. So keep an eye out on the channel for that one. If you've liked the video, please do give us a thumbs up. A sub to the channel would be absolutely awesome. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.